Strathgaming is now live. Streaming MLB The Show 22, MLB The Show 22 Padres Franchise Mode. From Petco Park in downtown San Diego, an NL West matchup on the show. It's the San Francisco Giants and the San Diego Padres. John Chami and Chris Singleton on the call, and we've got a major league debut on the mound in this one, Chris. And always interesting to see how that goes, but I'm sure there's a mix of excitement and nerves running through them right now. Absolutely. Playing your first game in the show, it's just a little different for everyone, but no one walks in unfazed by the moment. I don't care what they say to anybody, and that's especially true as a starting pitcher that's expected to go out there and give your team a quality outing. All eyes will be on him out there on the ball. Should be fun to watch and see how it plays out. So just about set and now the center fielder Austin Slater leading off to the Giants the center fielder number 13 Austin the pitch Slater that one to first he steps on the bag one up one down now we take a peek at the Giants lineup their opponent on the mound today does run into some trouble finding the strike zone at times. So, Singy, I got to figure part of the plan, be patient, be selective today. Yeah, you know coming in, regardless of, you know, what that first inning is going to look like, you know his history. You don't want to help him out. You've got to be patient and make sure that when you attack, that it's a pitch that you can do some damage with. Otherwise, just build up some traffic on the base pass push across some easy runs and perhaps get into some of those gap arms in the bullpen. No score just getting started top of the first. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. That misses. And the count is two and two. Good eye right there. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Number nine going back on this one. High bounce takes it over the fence. That's an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, boo. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. Up to the plate is Brandon Belt. That hits the dirt, and it's one to know. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys are chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. Next offering misses, and it's 2-0. and oh. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. That's towards center. Number nine settles underneath it. Pulls it down and there's two gone. That is four. The left fielder, number 23, John. Jack Peterson stands Peterson. in. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Runner at second, two down. Ah. 
Next offering is in for a strike. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. The pitch. Oh, and you can throw that big curve on the inside part of the plate. Very difficult pitch for the hitter to get on plane with. You can have a lot of success if you can pitch in that location. The one two. Rip to third and caught. Giant zero. Padres coming up. Back after this on the show. Bottom of the first, and starting this one is Alex Wood. Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA, and you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out, and not everyone's going to pitch like Where a number one or what number two Padre? every outing or every season. Baseline. But last year, Connor. he gave his team an opportunity Yay. and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. Kicks and deals. One ball, one break. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Got him. And that's the first out. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because that if they get on, just the, the distraction that they create with Jesse. all that speed over Junk on the in. base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi run home run. Jesse Duncan stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike two. And a pitch. Popped up. Pulls it in on the run. That's out number two. As we take a look at the Padres lineup. Trust me when I tell you no exceptions to the rule. Bringing blessings when I move. Special on my essence, I'm a boo. I'm lessons, I'm written, law, thoughts, food. More than when I was school. So digging in now for San Diego, number 18. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. On the ground, right side, tosses the first, and that'll do it. Three up, three down for San Diego. Scoreless after one. Bounce it, just bounce it. Everybody wanna come, I'm announcing it. I'm always gonna get it, I'm always gonna get it. Even if you And welcome back. And now, Evan Longoria. Leading off for San Yeah, we go beyond the just the you know fielding percentage Evan. and you know what it looks Longoria. like, but the ability to have range and you know, close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Nope, and the first pitch misses for ball one. one the big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And that one fouled off. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And there's a ball. And now the lefty. Great take right there. Showed some really good discipline. Breaking ball coming in. You see it well, but don't trust that it's going to hang on for a strike. Nice job. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Ground ball right side. On to first. Longoria retired. That is it. The second baseman. 
Wilmer Flores. And now it's Wilmer Flores. In there, and it's 0 1. The wind and the pitch. Our umpire behind the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about him. That's a good thing. Next offering is in for a strike. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Kicks and fires. And downstairs as the game has moved along we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys nicknames hometowns and as well hobbies listed just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. The first baseman number 33 Darren two outs bases empty Ruff. and here's the first baseman Darren Ruff. Next nope. offering is down low, and that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. Ball that jumps up. There's a strike. Line drive, base hit. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Mike Yastrzemski up here. And the 1 0. And there's the strike. Whoa. That misses. Yeah. And it's 2 and 1. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The 2 1. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes the grab on the run. And the inning is over. So the Giants leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at Petco Park. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping in for San Diego, Jason George. The third baseman, Jason George. Wood back to work. Check swing, but he went too far. Going one. Ball Looked one. like it was a little bit up. One and, one. and a pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Next one misses, and yeah, that's ball two. The pitch. And a swing and a miss, and one gone. 
He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Gavin. Oh. Now it's the power speed combo. Gavin Paul. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Second inning here, no score. This to third, and that's just foul. Only two now. Way inside, and that hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Oh, I like his intent that there to be aggressive with the like slider you. and make sure he got it inside, but he just yanked it across his body. A little too much horizontal rotation with the upper body instead of north-south. Lee watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. No score here in the second. The next pitch misses at one and one. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. At the belt and fires. Line drive. Dives, and he can't hang on. The throw to third. He's in there. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. One down. Number nine. Getting ready to hit. First pitch, and he just misses. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next pitch misses. Now 2-0. And here it comes. On the inside corner for a strike. And the pitch. And that one lifted in the air center field. Slater puts it away. Runner tags for home. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. Well, he's always capable of losing one over the fence. He might have just missed it right there, but a good job driving that run from third. Now the batter now, Brent Collins. Good power, not great in the OBP department. First pitch, just misses. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah, a little slider action. Next offering is in for a strike. Pulls that one foul. Man on second, two down. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And the inning is over. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. We play two full. It's the Padres one and the Giants nothing. New inning getting started, and now the veteran catcher, Kirk Casale. 
the catcher, Kurt Casale. Gore back to work. And fouled off. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning threw a lot of pitches. Here comes a pitch. Ball one there. And a pitch. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. The two one. That one missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the three one count. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Pitch. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. Gets under and pops it up. Duncan makes the grab. One away. The center fielder of the 13, Austin Slater. Austin Slater stands in. Hey. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The pitch. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. And it's a ball to strike. The wind of the pitch. And it's strike two. Why to kick the pitch? That to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. The bag, number 35. Short stop. Here's Brandon, Brandon Crawford. Crawford. Sing, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. First offering and it just misses. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Next offering misses. Three balls, no strikes. And he walked him. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Two outs runner at first. Now it's the DH Brandon Bell. In there for strike one. The one. Rolled over to third, and it's through for a hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. 
always now feels back. amazing getting a the job field done field. when the team needs Yard. you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Well, the offense really struggled last night. I mean, it was awful. So I, I think picking up a run right here, that's going to get him going a little bit. And now Jack Peterson, this to center field, and that's the inning. Giants leave a couple. They trail here, one nothing. Bottom of the inning, and now the DH, Connor Price. We you talk go. about the what power about and the speed together. Oh, well, we knew he was going to be a stud Connor. just coming up making his way through the minor leagues and quickly at this level an impact player. He gets down a base hit and the leadoff man aboard. Well clearly he was ready to hit right there. Pitch now was in and off the plate. Like so base, hard to do anything Connor. with a pitch in that location Dang. but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. And now they've got some speed on first so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So digging in Connor King. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that's in there for strike one. Kicks and deals. There's a strike. Throw over to first. Price back in standing. And now the lefty. That one lifted to left. Peterson under it. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Now batting. First baseman. Jesse. So up next, Duncan. Jesse Duncan. This guy, one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. One -oh. Price stands at first with one out. Next offering is in for a strike. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Next one misses, and it's two and one. And he deals. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Man at first. Number 18, number 18. The next up for the Padres. there and it's 0-1. Not what he's looking for there in the 0-0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Two outs. And now the count is even. And a pitch. In there. And so now one and two. And the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Peterson moving under it. Makes the play, and that's out number three. Padres leave one. They lead it one nothing.
back here at the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, the Evan Longoria. The third baseman, Evan Longoria. The wind of the pitch. Off the mark there. 1 and 0. Oh. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Reaching for it and breaks it in. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly oh, all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Now at the plate, Wilmer Flores. 0 for 1. He flied out to right this first trip. Next pitch downstairs, and that is ball one. Good eye right there. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. The 2-0 is in for a strike. On the ground to third. Gathers and throws to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball the out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another in. ground ball. Good Ruff. execution. And digging in for San Francisco, Darren Ruff. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Comes up empty. That's strike two. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Next one is off the plate. Now one and two. And a ball evens the count. Next pitch misses inside, and it's a full count. Two down, nobody on. Hard hit to third, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to get into the corner. Collins throws to second. In there, that's a double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Now the right fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next pitch in the dirt. One ball, one strike. And now one and two. And a one two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Next pitch is popped up. George makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for San Francisco. They're down 1-0.
Back here in San Diego, digging in, Jason George. Leading it's up. interesting Welcome he plays kind of a, a power spot baseman. defensively, Jason. but runs pretty well. George. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. He makes the grab, and there's one away. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no the doubt. Catcher number 14, Gavin. Here's the power Paul. hitting catcher, Gavin Paul. And this is a guy that doesn't just impact the game defensively, they count on him to deliver offense. He's the first guy at the ballpark. He's got to study opposing hitters. He's got to get familiar with his starting pitcher for that night. And he's getting in the cage to take his swings. That's a whole lot and so many times goes unnoticed. Fires over to Ruff. Already two gone here in the home four. Number 10. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Lee. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Slow roller to third. Longoria picks it up, third out. Padres go down quietly, but they lead it one to nothing. Welcome back. Here's Kirk Casale. Leading off for San Francisco, the catcher, Kurt Cassell. The pitch. That one drilled left field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He'll touch them all. His second of the year, and this game is tied. It's 1-1. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. The he was 13. all over that fastball. Austin. And now Slater. Austin Slater. Line to left. Collins makes the catch. And there's one down. The batter, number 35. Shortstop, Brandon. And now the shortstop, Crawford. Brandon Crawford. First offering misses badly for ball one. Meanwhile, Activity in the bullpen. Number 12 getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Number one getting loose as well. The pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's one and one. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. In the air, left field. Collins settles under it and makes the catch. And there are two down. The batter, number nine, designated hitter, Brandon. Two outs, Bell. base is empty. And the batter now, Brandon Bell, one for two. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. It's really trying to stay in on the hands. Not let him get extended, because that's where the potential for damage exists. Here's the 0-2. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. All even at one apiece. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the switch hitting outfield, number nine. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. 
Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bond. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. The next pitch misses and a count two and one. And that's a strike. Comes the 2 2. And another ball. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Got him. And there's one down. Tremendous job of bringing that ball back over the plate. He gets just enough of it to get the, the call. And tell eight. you what, as a hitter, Great. it starts out of the Ball zone. Away. It looks really far away. And for it to catch the outside corner, you just have to tip your cap to the pitcher. Next for the Padres, Brent Collins. First Four. offering misses the mark. Here comes a pitch. Good eye right there. Two balls, no play. Out to short. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to eat it, and he reaches safely. The batter, number seven. Runner on at first with one gone. So here's the Padres DH. Connor Price. One for one with a single so far. This kid is so special. He's a shortstop by trade and big time power. Seems like from day one, his strike zone and plate discipline looked like he'd been in the league for six years already. And a pitch. That one misses two and oh. In the air to left center, Peterson ranging into the alley makes the catch two away down. Now batting second baseman, Connor. Connor King, King, the next up for the Padres. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? First pitch, and that's in for a strike. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out, because the sky's the limit on that potential. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. Safe at second, and that was not close. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets in the scoring position. Next offering is down low. Here's a one two. Next offering misses down and away. On the ground. Ruff collects. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that is that. We're through five. All tied one one. Top of the sixth inning. Here's a cleanup hitter for the Giants. Jack Peterson. The left number 23, John Peterson. Gore back to work. And there's the strike. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Big lefty turns, kicks, deals. 
Nope, that's a ball. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Left hand hitter waits. Gonna count one and two. The wind and the pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up, up on the inside part of the plate. The Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many Long times, move. if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. In there for strike one. One down, base is empty. Ball. And now it's even up. One ball, one strike. The pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Longoria retired, and there's two away. Now batting, the second baseman, Wilmer Flores. So two down now, and here is Wilmer Flores. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Next offering down in the dirt. This to third. Can't glove it cleanly. But in time, nice job to stay with it to end the inning. Two, three, four, two up in the home half of the six. All tied, 1-1. One, one. Back here at the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. So digging in now for San Diego, Jesse Duncan. The first baseman, Jesse. And the pitch. Duncan. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Up the middle, Crawford picks it up, whips it to first. One up, one down. Good two seam action right there, running away from the batter, rolled over it, got the ground out. Number 18. And the batter will be the shortstop. Number 18. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. On the ground to third. Longoria to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now battle. The third baseman, Jason George. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres, Jason George. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. And yeah, the first well, offering is not close. Well, a mistake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. But why to kick the pitch? Foul ball. And here it comes. In there at the knees. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Next pitch misses. It's two and two. Kicks and deals. Foul ball there.
two two down. And now it's filled up. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. The pitch. That one is absolutely belted back there. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. George doesn't stop. Heads for home. Puts the tag on him, and that's the inning. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Number 12. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Back here in San Diego. Now it's going to be Darren Ruff. off for the Giants. The first baseman, number 33, Darren Ruff. And a pitch. And a big swing and a miss. Now the 0 1. Now 1 and 1. Swing and a miss. And he got him to chase. Right hander kicks deals. And yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One away. And up next now for the Giants, Mike Yastrzemski. Mike. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things and makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Activity in the bullpen. Luis Garcia getting ready to go. Krizmat getting cranked up as well. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. And the right hander deals. Way out front for strike two. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious. And now in a two strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. Two up, two down. Now batting. Catcher, Curtin, Casale. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Kirk Casali. And that's in there for strike one. That's a strike. out there down on strikes and he knew it nothing doing there for San Francisco score remains deadlocked at one bottom of the seventh here's the speedy catcher Gavin Paul singing he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport how difficult is that to do well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. And a foul ball. And now the lefty.
stays alive. That one ran inside, almost got him. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Line and a base hit into right. Around first, digging for two. In safely with a leadoff double. Go ahead runs in scoring position. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Lee, the next up for the Padres. Now batting. Number 10. First pitch, not close. And it's second. On the ground, right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. He beat it, and they've got the lead. It's 2-1. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Alex Wood won't go any further. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Camilo Doval gets handed the rock out of the pen, and his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. And now it's going to be number nine. Now batting, number nine. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Lee aboard here at first with nobody out. Next pitch is downstairs. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Check on the runner. Oh, Lee safe. gets back easily. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next pitch is popped up. Longoria settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on that. And there's one away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until this next at bat. Stepping in for San Diego, Brent Collins. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Next pitch inside. Two balls, no strikes to count. Righty delivers. Fought off foul. Next offering is fouled back. One run game, one out, one on. 